Hello. Hello. We're on a lovely dog walk. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> we just thought we would uh, share a couple of things with you guys. And um, yeah, one is our dog walking award that we won. Yay! Yay! We were rated one of the top three dog walkers in Winchester. Yay! Yeah, we were pleased to get that um, and share that with our dog walking team because uh, they deserve a lot of recognition. Yeah, they work for very, very hard. Amazing job that they do every day. Yeah, so we thought we'd um, <coughs> come and, uh, you know, just talk about dog walking a little bit. Um, we obviously meet a lot of people who say, like, I would love your job and they would love my job. Yeah, wouldn't they? Like it's, everyone. Yeah, it best is job in the world. Amazing. It's such a good job. <coughs> Even in this lovely weather it's yeah. um you know it's nice covered in mud covered in mud yeah <laughs> and jumped off of on off by all the dogs yeah, paw prints all over you uh -huh. but <clears> um <throat> it's not an easy job it's not as easy as some people think it is no um, there's a lot to no. uh, think about and consider dog hold on stanley's doing a poo <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, let's use that as an example, picking up after the dogs, um, you know, when you're walking multiple dogs, um, you know, people always sort of in the social media say, oh, how do those dog walkers pick up all that poo? I'm absolutely telling you that is a skill, to have eyes in the back of your head. Um, they but, always do it at the same time as well, it's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, there, there's ways and, um, you know, it's just part of our job. you just got to have eyes really, in the back of your head. We don't really think anything of it in the end, um, actually, once you've been doing this enough years. <laughs> so we've got to mix the dogs well. You've got to think about who you're taking out together. You've got to make sure they all get along um, and that, you know, there's not going to be any sort of issues when you're, when you're out walking them. Um, you need to be careful about who you're letting off lead. Yep. They have a good recall. We have to have um, permission to let these dogs off lead as yeah, well before yeah. um, we think about we where we're taking so. them. Yeah. And also when it's a new dog, um, just taking time to get to know that dog before we do let them off. Even if the owners are saying, yeah, the dog's amazing. You know, we still have to make a little bit of our own judgment um, and, you know, get to know that dog before we then just let it off in the middle of the woods. It's not quite... Um, as straightforward yeah. as it would seem. And talking about middle of the woods, we, we like to make sure we always pick big, wide open spaces Absolutely. where we can sort of avoid the public. <laughs> Nothing against you guys. No, if you see us darting off into the woods, <laughs> no offence, you're just trying to keep the peace. <laughs> yeah. um, so when I filmed Sandy a minute ago, you'll see that she has got a centre box tag on, um, the green tags that are hanging from all our dogs, you might see in the pictures. Um, that is uh, what we put on the dogs to say that centre parks are walking those dogs and that if anyone was to come across one of these dogs um, in the woods to ring the number on the tag and that we are probably there shouting for your dog because they've probably gone off Certainly. after a deer or something. While owners are at work they might not be able to pick up their phone and we obviously want to be able to retrieve that dog um, as quick as we can if they've managed to lose themselves from the group. So that's why the tags are just, they're just so important. The call comes to the, through to the centre, the centre can get in touch with the dog walker and we can arrange for them to meet up and get the dog back to uh, where it should be and get them back home. They're not just the dogs to look after, There's we've got the owner's properties as well. We've got their keys, and yep. most of them are key safe codes. Um, you know, we've got their, their leads, harnesses, everything you can think of. We, you know, we're going into their house as well. so. Um, that's also a bigger responsibility than um, people take on board sometimes that um, it's not all just about going out and walking dogs we have to go pick them up yeah. and uh, picking up involves vans yeah. um, which break down every now yeah. and then yeah. or need some uh, maintenance repair work to MOTs and we've got to then work out a plan about how, yeah. how we get them out without a vehicle juggle the day juggling, a lot of juggling Get our yeah. teams working <clears throat> together to um... yeah. which is another absolute bonus for us having a team of dog walkers um so if anything like that happens as a center box um customer Maybe. you wouldn't even notice yeah. you probably don't even notice if our walkers are off sick or um if our van is in for a service um because we're so lucky to have the team that we can arrange it so nothing you know service is as normal nothing is interrupted by this um 
Yeah, the team know your dog, they know their quirks, they know who yeah, they get on with. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can tell them who to take them out with. So. Absolutely, who they mix well with. Um, and all the, you know, whether you want the dog in the crate after the walk or yeah, shot in the kitchen. Them. Especially or... if they're returning a muddy, <coughs> do they go somewhere different? Like, Absolutely, they... yeah. So there are loads of things to remember as a dog walker. It's like, you know, we are not just a dog walker. We're an encyclopedia of knowledge. So, um, if you've got a dog walker. Yeah, make sure you thank them. Yeah, we think dog walkers need more recognition. You know, we're like you've got a team, but a lot of people work solo as, as dog walkers and they don't get to see or interact with uh, tons of people every day. And it's uh, nice for them to be able to just get a little bit of recognition for the yeah. hard job that they do. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. And yeah. we will be logging on more and speaking to you. Yeah, you'll be hearing the drone of our voices yeah, much sorry, more guys. this year, I think, because we, uh, yeah, we're going to be brave and do more videos and show you more about what goes on at Centre Parks behind the scenes. Um, and more dogs. Yay! You can't, you know, can't do better than that. More dogs. Yay, Sandy! <laughs> <laughs> Sandy's like, what is that noise? Why are you talking so much? Crazy girl. Yeah. Right, okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.